and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Control. We got a new donation deck here. We're, we're going to be playing a lot of sweepers and winning with Gideon Blackblade. All right, um, first couple of uh, housekeeping notes. Sorry for the no stream yesterday. Uh, I, I had a lunch that did not sit well in my stomach and I was not feeling very well yesterday. I'm doing a little bit better today. But I'm not not 100%, but I'm, you know, we're we're fine through it today. Um, we got the 12 hour New Year stream tomorrow. Doing the 12 hour stream for hitting um, enough sub goals to do that. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Next week, um, Wednesday through Saturday, those four days I won't be streaming. I'm going to be flying uh, to uh, back home to Texas where I, I used to live and I have some houses that I'm looking at purchasing and hopefully moving in the next month or two. And so I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be spending some time looking at some houses. So no stream Wednesday through Saturday of next week. Those those y'all on YouTube. Um, and then besides that, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of standard shakeup stuff. Um, if you don't know about that event, I'll, I'll describe that more whenever we get to those videos. We'll be doing some st standard shakeup decks tomorrow too. So basically we get to play like some, some different decks and not really have to play against the very top uh, decks in the format. And it, it should be it should be fun. All right, but first up, like I said, we have Esper Control here. This is um, this was a deck, uh, like I said, this was a viewer submitted deck here to uh, play a lot of Wraths and um, Planar, like the main thing that that's probably gonna make this deck good is Planar Cleansing. We've seen Planar Cleansing just be a really important card in this format with all of the different permanents trying to, trying to have like your exact removal spells line up against the exact cards your opponent's playing is pretty tough. You know, you'll have, like, your, um, you know, anti-enchantment card, and then they have their creature that's killing you, or the other other way around, and, and so on. It's uh, So Planar Cleansing can just kind of sweep everything up. So this deck's all about playing lots of Planar Cleansings, playing lots of Kaya's Wraths, and not caring, because the threat Gideon is going to be indestructible. We have um, a lot of card draw with Discovery, Chemistry's Insight, to, to find more Wraths and Planar Cleansings and Gideons. You know, Thought Erasure is obviously just a, a good card. We have other interaction with Murderous Rider, Othakaya. And then Drown in the Lock can be like our protection for Gideon in the late game with being able to counter any type of spell. Um, so yeah, if we're, if we're putting a bunch of stuff in the graveyards with our sweepers, Drown in the Lock is a really good late game option. So that's what our deck's all about. Uh, we got an extra Liliana to just get that fourth threat in here. Or even if we like planar cleansing a Liliana away, we still draw a lot of cards, so it's really not that big of a deal either. All right, so let's give this a try. So our donation decks, we're going to play it through a league. We're going to play it till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. And here we go. Yes, Michael. Yeah, yeah. So yep, I do donation decks. Uh, yeah, these are. It's twenty dollars for a donation deck. Um, and yeah, there's a donation section there that describes everything. Basically, all you have to do is simply send me your list and let me know what day and what time, like what day and what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth, that you want me to play your deck. We got five decks on the docket today because of uh, because of playing some best of one. The the standard shakeups are best of one. This other donation deck's best of one. Best of one decks don't don't take as much time. We're gonna keep Kai's Wrath against Breeding Pool. And so we're gonna be able to fit in a fifth deck today. We'll be able to find other lands. Lend me Kaiser at that, thank you. Um, yeah, into coaching? No, I don't. I don't really do coaching. Um, I basically don't really have 
enough. I don't really have enough time for coaching also because um, you know, I spend my seven hours a day on the stream and I spend like one to three hours every day making decks also. And that's basically a long enough work day for me because I do it, you know, so I don't really have the days that I want to be stream that I want to be coaching as well. Let's keep let's keep the castle Arden Vale as far as a <clears throat> land is concerned. I need another land for planar cleansing. That's not good that it was stopping there and that they had a, a chance. They could have a chance to counter. That's not good. Good. Okay, never mind. We did counter. So I, I just used that I used that instant speed removal because I realized I was, I was a little worried about if I don't counter it. You know, like we would have been at three here if I, if I would not have used that instant speed removal. Oh, hey, hey, Poppy and Dessel. Sorry, I missed y'all. We have a couple Fable Passages, right? Yeah, we have two Fable Passages. We could shuffle up and be able to get this Liliana back. So they got seven cards in their graveyard now, so Drown the Lock is just going to be a hard counter spell. Wasn't a very good auto tap. For making a 1 1 with Castle Arden Vale. There we go, Gideon. I walk a righteous path. Your light will cleave the darkness. Oh, that's a... No, actually, I don't really have any New Year's resolutions. I had not even think, thought about New Year's resolutions, like, basically at all. That was not a, even a thought, thought that really crossed my mind. Recently. So I guess the answer is not really. Hey, Kramer. Thanks for stopping by, watching watching the stream live. Yeah, get better at drawing the correct number of lands. There you go. No, life's been busy with me looking for a new house recently and then all the, the with Hawkeye being sick and all the problems that Hawkeye's been having recently. I haven't I haven't really thought about New Year's resolutions. Yeah, y'all y'all let me know some of your new New Year's resolutions in chat. I believe in you. Ah. 
I think I'm just going to use the Kaya's Wrath to, to deal with that instead of using my... Um, using my counter spell. All right, we got to keep losing weight. That's a good. That's a very good one. Mine is to go be on the play more often. That's a good resolution too. Stop drinking energy drinks. That's a great one. That's a great one. <laughs> be a cute girlfriend. There you go. Try to quit smoking. I like it. Yeah, stop drinking soda. That's a that's a really good one. Like the stop drinking soda, stop drinking energy drinks, stop smoking. I like all three of those a whole lot. Those are all habits that that I'm thankful that I don't don't have, and would recommend not doing. Finish my master's in finance as one of the best students while learning a lot about magic. That's a great one, too. All right, so we want all these noxious grass, disdainful strokes to sparks. We didn't see any Krasis there. That's like their great card against me. I guess that encounter magic. But like planar cleansing doesn't seem as, it seems like man, we don't really need planar cleansing, do we? Like if we have Noxious Grasp to take out Nyssa, then we still have the Kaya's Rants. Because Planar Cleansing doesn't kill the lands that Nyssa makes, just having the Kaya's Rats, is that enough? All right, well, this is 62 cards. That's a lot of cards. That's two more that I want to play, I guess. Maybe I just don't play to spark. It's kind of weird. Hey, Casey. Happy New Year's. There you go, Thunderluck. You're drinking your last energy drink right now. Good. Good. You can do it. You can... You can quit him after this. So we still have four grass, four rider for Nissa. I think that's enough. Hopefully it's enough. No, I don't think I want to take out Liliana. I think that we kind of need Liliana. Um, and same, kind of the same thing with Discovery. Like, Discovery just usually turns into whatever spell we need. It's a, it's a good one to have in hand. Oh yeah, Dispark is definitely good in this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't mean that I def def ugh. that doesn't mean that I necessarily have the room to play it though. Yeah, Liliana gets easily countered because it's expensive, but the thing is when by the time we're casting Liliana, we shouldn't really have hands left.
prob do you the question is, do you think War Ashok will be a standard staple in Thera standard? The answer is probably not. I'm in a kind of difficult spot here. Turns out Nissa's still pretty good. Yeah, they're just not gonna do anything now. Just they just have a three-three. No, I don't think their standard will be a, a great merchant metagame. I protect that which cannot protect itself. This is kind of the problem with Gideon, is Gideon only does something if you've stabilized. Rise, my element friend. Definitely the recipe for us losing there. No thought erasure or chemistry's insight. You know, like while we're just sitting there playing stuff back and forth, if we have chemistry's insights, it's a big deal. So we're gonna lead with Temple of Silence and look for like a shock land, like something to be able to play like Discovery on two. Yes, I think Grey Merchant will absolutely be played in standard. I don't think it's gonna be a Grey Merchant metagame. But absolutely Grey Merchant will be played in standard. Like what's what's a card in, in this current standard format that you say it's it's a whatever metagame? Like I guess like Like what, like Cauldron Familiar? It's very difficult to, to say that the entire you know, like be, be you know, like obviously we had a Field of the Dead and we had an Oko metagame, like those cards were banned. I I don't think that that's like the level of Grey Merchant. Can I keep either of those? No. I wish I could. Especially that disdainful stroke so we could counter Anissa before.
forward and make a 3 3. So this is lining up a lot better for us with having Chemistry's Inside and having Castle Ardenvale. Uh, it could be a day or two, Viper. Yeah, you can have some more Paradise Druids. Underworld Breach is amazing in Legacy Vintage. What's Underworld Breach? What does that card do? I really haven't, like, whenever I look at, like, the, the cards, I really don't think about the older formats too much with me just playing Arena right now. It makes a lot of... I, I just kind of kind of thought about this, but Theros being a world, you know, that cares of being a, sorry, being a plane that cares about like the underworld um, and having that kind of lore. And then also with how we have a lot of graveyard interactions, escape, you know, leaving the graveyard is like leaving the underworld. That's actually, it's actually really flavorful. It's actually really cool. Ah, it's that that card. Castle Ardenvale. <laughs> I just described the Theros trailer. I guess I haven't seen the Theros trailer. Hey, Escurio. Yeah, opponent probably has a lot of counter spells over there. We have this lands making one ones. So 
that's very good for me for Drown in the Lock. Helps turn on Drown in the Lock. I don't really need to play this murderous rider. Let them, let them play a frilled mystic, for value, and then also be able to have like you know the three two the blocks one one ones. If they want to play a frilled mystic, they're just gonna have to play it. So if I play another Murderous Rider, I only have one Counterspell up. If I don't, I have two Counterspells up. Let's we'll keep the two Counterspells up. Yo, yeah, like, I, I know, I mean, I understand that part of Underwonk, but I, I just think that it's cool that, um, besides just Escape, that there's just so many things that care about the Graveyard in Theros. I was saying, yeah, you know, I was using escape as an example. Castle Ardenvale won us this game single-handedly. Without Castle Ardenvale, those Paradise Druids would have like, been destroying me. Good job, Castle Ardenvale. We are 1-0. GG's. What's the best way to spend wild cards when a new set comes out? Um, hmm. That's a tough one. There's not there's not like a just a really good way to spend wild cards because what um like right basically right away we i guess the i guess what i'm trying to say is is right away we don't know what's going to be good in in two weeks down the line a month down the line six weeks down the line you know just, we just don't know the thing that we do is just play this is just a really annoying hand to deal with. So I can take the negate, then I can resolve Gideon, but then they have Prison Realm for Gideon. So basically using using wild cards on day one is, you know, kind of a crapshoot if you're like those are like your only cards you're gonna be using for the whole format. Hmm. Kinda wanna take the Narset. I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, lands lands are, I guess I guess that that's a good answer, just using them on the temples. Like that's that's very easy to do and very safe and a bad idea.
I could resolve a Gideon there. But not to really too much upside. You know, like I resolve Gideon. They prison realm it. They can minus their Teferi, draw a card. Oh. Well. Now I wish I would have just played Gideon last turn. Get another land out of the deck. The main problem is that they have a land. And honestly, this isn't really that good. Because if they have the land, they get to play Sarkin. I guess they don't kill Gideon. Let me synthesize the fact. Yeah, this is the traditional standard event. Hey, JavaScript. Hey, GGs. Yeah, that was that was a good match. I got pretty fortunate there with the Castle Ardenvale really taking over. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Okay, you can lead the charge into darkness, Gideon. Go ahead. Oh, JavaScript also getting on the Twitch Prime Seven here. Thank you so much. All right, awesome. Our third sub of the day. I don't need a fifth black mana source. I'm just going to play the island so I can discard the watery grave. We don't need to shock. We can have the ability to cast two chemistry's insights here. Bleh. I'm still just going to discard watery grave over shock or over swamp. Sorry. Will I? Well, I would say that's doubtful at best. I kind of wish we had a second Castle Ardenvale in here. Castle Ardenvale seems like our best card. Your light will cleave the darkness. I won't let you win. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to just be attacking them, like planar cleansing. Like if they they play Sarkin, they tick up. Then I'm gonna to want to planar cleansing. I could have got another four points of damage in on them. Yeah, intimidate is the keyword for fear. Um, you have one UU, you, two, three. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one, put a counter on it, make a one, one. Um, that will likely... It's likely going to see play, but... It's not a... I think it's being overhyped. I don't think Retreat. it's... I don't think it's anything special. I think I will lend you my paying strength. one to make a 1-1, one, one, you know, like when you have cards like Hero Precinct 1 to make 1-1s one, for free and other stuff like that. Um, of course, you just have to draw a card, but, you know, if you're using all your man, you know, using your mana there for making the 1-1s, one, I don't know. It's, it's not like a, a bad card or anything like that, but it's not, um, it's pretty slow. It's just, you know, it's just a 2-3. 
it's, it's nothing special. I guess it, it can get larger, but. I would, I would be surprised if that has a big impact on standard, but obviously we don't, we don't know exactly what's gonna happen. We don't know what kind of synergies could be in the set, but I'll be surprised. Um, So if we take out the Kaya's Wraths, we have a plane, we get the extra planar cleansing in, so we're good there. So now we have things like Noxious Grasp kills Little Teferi, but that's kind of about it. Um, Dispar, can, Dispar could get rid of like Sarkin or maybe Big Chandra, but that's kind of it. Disdainful Stroke can counter like Sarkin, but that's it. We can't counter Big Chandra. I could try just playing egos. Um, so basically, all these cards are pretty limited. And I don't love any of them, but we got to play three of them. I think we're going to do Dispark and a grasp that's what we're gonna do i don't think i want to rely on a disdainful stroke because of teferi um but yeah i would i would assume they're also playing fire so you know dispar can do something else there hey testawatt happy new year Take those, thank you. I need two white mana, two other extra white mana for Castle Arden Vale. Evil Deep. Fibble that becomes target of a spell. Shuffle. They definitely seem like they're trying to hold up Mystical Dispute the two turns. Um, yeah, you know, like they, I played Discovery and it stopped kind of thing. They still just thinking, do we want to use Othakaya to kill Fibbletip? Those will do also. I could put the chemistry's inside in the graveyard, so it's just kind of there in the graveyard, and then we don't draw it. But drawing chemistry's inside is like a, a good draw, though. I'm not going to be casting Thought Erasure right now, like next turn, because Thought Erasure gets distroked or disputed. <laughs> I tried to say like disdainful stroke and disputed mystical dispute at the same time. And you know, decide not to use the the Othakaya on the Fibble Tip with us having Castle Arden Veil vale to make one one. Another dispute, we can pay for it. Oh. 
we did have another dispute. And we could pay for it. Because we're smart. Two shocks. Nothing wrong with Murderous Rider, but just kind of unnecessary. And I, I did want another land. I'm not not completely yet, Candice. Um, I'm gonna play some standard shakeup decks, um, but that's kind of about all that I have on the docket for now, for tomorrow. So I certainly have a good amount of room there. Hey, thank you so much, there, Corn Lover. It's under disdainful stroke, which is really nice. Ah, boo. Boo. Yes, escape's a new mechanic that's going to be in Theros. I like shaved earlier this this morning. Or like shave this morning, like my face is bothering me now. Feeling all the razor burn a little bit. Stick a land. Uh, thank, thank you so much, there, munchies. That's the argument for killing the Fibble Thip, though. I'm surprised they bounced my token instead of bouncing the Fibble Thip that would allow them to draw another card. Or just not bounce anything.
Dealing with this 4 4 dragon is going to be kind of tough. Okay. Not so tough anymore. most dangerous part of Lure of the Unknown is that if you have too many copies and your opponent gets to cast one of your Lure of the Unknowns and draw 5-2. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, you, you hit one. This is problematic. Fay of Wishes. That's a card to be worried about. It's not that worried, though. You want the first first slot at noon there, Kendis? For some mono black aggro? All right, perfect. We'll make it happen. Yeah, basically, I, I got the dispute out of their hand and tapped him out of blue mana, but we knew that we were going to be trading. Like, you know, like the dispute was going to do something eventually anyway. I don't think I could just, with me having triple planar cleansing in hand, that was going to be very expensive cards. I couldn't just play around dispute my entire life. Always nice to get at the search for the unknown. That's real science. So I'm letting their, them take their card. And now I'm gonna just now I'm gonna try to dispark. Just kinda hoping they took a counter spell and they would counter that, and then I could untap and resolve planar cleansing.
<laughs> quad cleansing. The spark kicker. Thank you so much there, Poppy. Shock and beacon. Sure you can. Let's try this. We begin. Come to me. Well, that's take a lot of damage. I guess not that much damage. All right, we'll trade with this disdainful stroke, which we're gonna have to eventually, anyway. Don't worry, I got this. All right, so looks like they do, did not want to instant speed. Granted, they wanted to right then and there. It definitely seems like a good card for me to see. Hopefully, planar cleansing result. Hopefully, they didn't just draw a counter spell. Glad they didn't grab like an expansion explosion or something like that. Hey, Mr. Dank. Liliana. Huh. Willing to play Fae of Wishes also. We definitely have a counter spell here. Just hoping they don't draw a counter spell right now. Also, they don't draw top deck back to back counter spells. I'll protect you. <clears throat> Cause they don't you know, as long as they don't have a draw two also, like this Fae of Wishes is gonna like we're gonna destroy this Fae of Wishes now. Which is pretty big. Alright, if I play this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the problem with playing... All right, so Chemist's Insight could let me find Thought Erasure, and then I could Thought Erasure. But if I play Chemist's Insight, then if they if I don't find Thought Erasure and they have Mystical Dispute, it gets countered. So yeah, I don't think we risk it. Go get them, riders. They're at 30. There are so many mysteries to uncover. The thought 
thoughtfulness before action. That's not bad. Hey, Gare. Yeah, I am back. Glad to be back. Taking my two threes. I am here to aid in the assault. I vigilance. Okay, down to twenty nine. Um, I'll play the temple. I could discard it. I'll play it. We got there. I was gonna make a one-one and draw a card with Castle Lock Twain there. And we're two and O. Oh. Planar cleansing. Being pretty big. They countered the first two planar cleansings, but we had a third. Yeah, with that that card that you're talking about, um, yeah, like with the look at six, and the opponent chooses one, they can and they yeah they just get to play any card. They can take like a planeswalker or a creature or anything they want and play it right then. Yeah, the two S's stand for the standard shakeup event that is on uh, arena currently. I wanted to keep that. Not gonna lie, I wanted to keep. I don't really have white mana for that right now. Never mind. I had plenty of white mana. Had an abundance of white mana. This is probably going to be... You know what? No. I don't know what it's going to be. I really don't know which one of these two cards I want to cast. Drowner Insight.
Casting Drown there, because it does seem like it's going to be kind of difficult for my opponent to attack with this Lovestruck Beast from what we've seen so far. Don't have another white mana. Oh, I guess I guess I couldn't Kaya's Wrath and Gideon. I, I was one off that anyway. Champion of Justice. Go do some stuff for me. Sure hope. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. That, that. That'll do. Sure hope they don't have like a 1-1 one -one and get to attack this Gideon here. Okay, good. We have defense, just in case. I believe in you, friend. I believe in you, friend. Two white horses there. Yeah, here's seven seven. Justice is served. Could have killed that five five the previous turn with the Murderous Rider and dealt another four damage, but we didn't really know too much about their hand at the time. It has to be a great hench deck. Yeah, that'll that'll work just fine. Team. Good job, Gideon. Hmm. 
So this gets rid of Paradise Druid. Um, I will lend you my strength. Puts them on a two-turn clock. This is risky if they just kind of string together a bunch of, um, a bunch of adventure creatures. But I don't know, like, if I cast Discovery, what really the, the odds that I find, you know, something to kill the one one are not that high. We're looking at like another Drown the Locker, Murderous Rider, and that's it. Or Othakai, I guess, like those three cards. So it wasn't that high. Okay. So they're playing seven sixes, a bunch of five fives, a bunch of huge creatures with giants and stuff too. I assume that they're playing Fae of Wishes is kind of like what they're doing with blue. Seems like this could be a tough matchup for us. I've played Lockmare Serpent in different decks and everything. Um, it's it's okay. I, I usually like Liliana and Ugin and and Dovin Architect of Thought and like those six mana walkers more. But there are definitely times where, you know, you get to finish games out because of Lockmare. Just don't really know what I want to do here. Kind of want to unboard Ego Fae of Wishes. Like, Fae of Wishes is super scary. Everything else I'm not that scared of. I'm gonna play one one ego for Fae of Wishes. You know, especially they pretty sure they're a Lucky Clover deck. If they have you know Lucky Clover plus Fae of Wishes, it, it can really steam steamroll out it, you know, it can get out of hand. one land so it's not like a card that I want to draw a lot of you know just playing one of them but I think I want that first one I want to draw a Chemist's Insight in this matchup, where we're already behind. Probably not. Hey, man! Happy New Year's. I think it's fine to have Ego in the sideboard. That doesn't mean we have to bring it in against everything, but it's fine. Wish I had Legion's End right here. That'd work out well. Man, I should have killed that 2-1 on my turn. I 
We're gonna do the math with the Great Henge. Alright, so my plan is to have Gideon exile the Great Henge in a little while. It's not not the best plan, but that's my plan. That would be a good one, dude. We need to draw a land. I could have discovered here for land and then play Murderous Rider, but I think I want Dispersal. Like, Dispersal could be really nice, too. I'm glad we're keeping the Dispersal option up, because that was certainly what I needed there. It was Gideon minus six. I know my responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. Come on, land. Ooh. That's just very bad for me. It's even worse. Uh, this is just this is just really bad now. Uh I need that Gideon. That was that was an awful turn for me. It's four cards. Uh, Dispersal doesn't really work because they just replay the Great Henge now with with the Paradise Druid and everything. Um, isn't really necessarily the best time to Kaya's Wrath. That was that was a very good turn. Yeah, good luck, Mank. I guess I should have cast Discovery. We need we need six land and planar cleansing. Yeah, nothing else is gonna do. Well, that's pretty easy. We get to counter this before they get to draw two cards off of it. I do not, Stealth Reborn. I do not have any New Year's resolutions. We were talking about that earlier. Need cleansing. They're playing like they have a counter spell though. <clears throat> if I would have killed the two one on my turn, this would have been a lot different game.
We need to at least stay alive for a little bit. Cleansing. We're still alive. Not very alive, but we're still alive. Darn. Was it the next card? Nope. Maybe they don't have Fae of Wishes? Maybe they don't need ego. Maybe they don't have fave wishes. All right, currently waiting. So I'm just putting the fourth planar cleansing in the deck. <laughs> you picked the oops, all not planar cleansing box of Captain Crunch. This is awkward in the fact that I'm going to be taking, you know, getting island here for thought erasure. So I'm certainly I can't cast Kai's Wrath on four. I could take the Paradise Druid and then then they're kind of like stuck. I'll be able to kill the like the Paradise Druid. I'll be able to kill. Oh come on! Are there not lands in this deck? Wow. Wow. I was not worried about hitting a land drop with this hand until now. That's some pretty bad luck with lands, you know, those 26 lands. We're down to 43 cards now. <laughs> This is 
frustrating. <laughs> Our 26 land deck just, even with these discoveries, you know, like we're we've gone through 19 cards. Where are the lands? Not only that, but they found another Great Henge. Discard a card. I'm really hoping to play in her cleansing this next turn. Obviously, I'm really hoping to draw another white source. Back to back to back. I think they're just searching for counter magic right now. That'd be my guess. Ugh. Dang it, we would have got rid of the third Great Henge too. mana. Ugh. Yeah, they're, they're just playing at uh, all creatures in Great Henge deck. And that's that's what, just what they're doing. And Game one, they didn't have the Great Henge. And so we won very easily. Game two, they had the Great Henge. And game three, they've had the Great Henge. And we haven't been able to keep up because Great Henge is pretty broken. You show remorse, I'll show Why do they never I bounce their own creature to replay it and draw another card? I've done the hero thing before. So it, by this time, they've probably found a counter spell. By this time. I, 
I don't I don't regret not taking I yeah I, I, I think that we were perfectly fine taking that Reggie hit I don't regret not shocking and wrathing there right on schedule. but yeah Teferi with adventure creatures be able to reuse them it's pretty nice I've got time hmm. That was really unlucky. Kept a two lander and like our first five cards had no land. So, you know, we had Thought Erasure on two to surveil. Then we had Discovery that surveilled a couple more and couldn't get a third land drop. I would not expect that to happen very often with this deck. Just one of those games. Hey, Deadlift. Happy New Year. Collectors. Yeah, I've been very happy with the discoveries. Um, I do like how much they can really dig you. Makes sense. All right, I don't actually need that. So right now, just kind of looking for another white source. I kind of wanted to play Murderous Riders as a blocker, kind of. MG what? Six months, let's go. There we go. Thank you so much, MG what? I 
That's our fourth sub of the day. Is there any skill-based or deck-based matching when I search an opponent in Arena? Besides rank, I think that's all there is. You know, like, if you're playing in rank, you'll get matched with someone in a similar rank. I don't know of anything else. I think besides that, it's just pretty random. Boo. Had to have Questing Beast that turn. Obviously, if we untapped, we were going to be fine. Well, fine-ish. Fine-ish. I just see like us playing Gideon and Gideon getting killed. I guess it's kind of the same thing with Kaya though. But Kaya we can play immediately and gain two life. Hmm. And Kaya can get rid of Pell Collector. That's that's the only thing Kaya can get rid of is Pell Collector. How are we winning this game? I don't know how I'm really winning this game. I don't even know if I should be sideboarding. So I don't I don't really have win conditions right now. I have Castle, Murderous Rider, and Liliana. We're just hoping to outgrind them with cards and use like Chemister's Insight to pull ahead and use the castles to, to grind them down. Quasi Kraken? What's Quasi Kraken? Are you talking about like one of the new cards? I want a Murderous Rider this thing because I want to just be able to play my Murderous Rider as just, you know, 2-3 lifelinker right now. Sure, that new Kraken is insane.
<laughs> That's the trivia. My 2020 resolution is to make Jank great again. Pronounced Kraken? I always said Kraken. But could be wrong. Go Castle Art and Veil. This game's looking good for us right now. I still got Castle Art and Veil. And I got answers to the two next car two next threats they have. I could have obviously I could have just used these to kill the pup collectors and just keep attacking for three. say there, uh, Phil. Was I pronouncing Kraken wrong? It's Kraken? Or was I pronouncing it correct? Oh, Kraken? It's Kraken. I don't really know why I'm not casting Discovery. I guess I was just thinking about the, that pronunciation. Yeah, casting Discovery would make sense. I don't know if I need to anymore. We'll just pass because this game's over. Like, Gideon only helps in, like, games that we're doing well and we can win kind of thing. Gideon doesn't really help us in games that we're losing against Gruul. Which is the problem with playing Gideon for this matchup. We were fortunate to draw our Castle Ardenvale again. Um, Thought Erasure is going to be a little slow. Especially on the draw, and it's not going to be a card that we want to draw later on in the game. And we are playing to play a long game. So I'm going to go down to three Thought Erasure, four Discovery. I think two Planar Cleansing is probably fine. Ugh. 
<laughs> yeah, Castle Arville does have an overpopulation problem. So they just draw straws to see who wants to go out and fight the gruel horde. And everybody's like, no, 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 not me, not me, don't pick me, don't pick me, don't pick me. So we can probably set up a turn five Kai's Wrath. Probably. Plus, you know, we get to disrupt their hand. We have Murder Strider to kill something else. We're on the draw. We should draw lands. We already kept a hand like this and we didn't draw lands. I don't think that's going to happen again. I think we're good this time. Yeah, this is definitely our worst land in our deck is this basic island. But because of Fable Passage, it's kind of necessary. They still playing these rhythm of the wilds and collisions and stuff like that. You get you get credit for two wins when you play best of three. If we don't draw land, we're playing Discovery. If we draw land, we're probably going to play Murderous Rider. I mean, I guess it depends on what they do, though. Also. As for Street, that's pretty well. Awkward land because it's not white mana for these, but it's also like it's this castle that can help me out in a late game. If we do play a late game, we get the scry. It's like that's nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cast drown in the lock and kill this goblin. At bottom. So drown the lock isn't killing a lot of stuff right now, and obviously it's not going to counter anything with Rhythm of the Wild in play. I'm keeping that chemistry's in sight because I just want the the raw cards. And we are going to be casting another discovery to look for a land drop. The other one, though, I don't really want to draw chemistry's insight for turn because I, I may not necessarily want to cast chemistry's insight immediately right here.
We're gonna have to planar cleansing that. Um, the yeah, the best of one leagues are just set up a little bit differently. But yeah, I, I don't usually get best of one donation decks. It's gonna be eight damage. It's gonna be down to five. I'm not playing the temple here because I don't really care what I draw, to be honest. Because we had a we had good stuff set up. <clears throat> now I care a little bit more about what we draw. So now we need more instant speed removal. Okay, well, I guess if I would have played Temple, I would have put the Goblet Shrine down to the bottom and we would have drawn that Drowned in the Lock, which would have been nice to have. All right, so we just got to hope my opponent doesn't top deck again. We can play around another Questing Beast by just holding up the Noxious Grab so they can't play just another one. Dang. I guess I need to Takaya's Wrath and then hold up Grasp, I guess? I guess I need to do that. Yeah, I guess that was the line. No, I don't survive, I don't think. Do I? Three? No, I... Oh, because I gained the one from Noxious Grasp. Okay, so I guess we do. Gain the one from Noxious Grasp. Right. Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feel, Hawkeye? The king. The reason not to play the land would be for another Chemist's Insight. If it was like a black-white land, I'd probably hold on to it, but it is a blue land. We don't have our, that much blue mana. I'll just get a land into play. Alright, looks like we're going to uh, survive this now. Yeah, opponent just drew, drew their lands. Got this. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. 
Good help is easy to find in war. Yeah, that was a a bad section of drawing for our opponent. I guess it's lethal the fastest if I just play this out, get eight power into play. They're at eight, whatever they draw, I counter, and then the game's over. All right, we're three and one. Ooh, we got 40 gems. That's pretty awesome. We'll take 40 gems. Yeah. Oh, we need that one that one life. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Didn't need any more. sit in my lap okay all right oh uh, let's mulligan i kind of want to keep the hand with having thought erasure discovery we just hit the one land drop we can hit more yeah guessing heliod soul sisters is probably going to be a, a popular historic deck Ooh, uh, this is the matchup we got planar cleansings for. Sure, I'll keep a castle. We're going to need uh, more lands, and castle's a good one. So ideally, we don't play anything at all before planar cleansing. Ideal, like, that would be, like, the best case scenario. Obviously, if my opponent's, like, playing stuff, it's, like, killing me. I may have to do something first. May have to just Kaya's Wrath here. All right, yeah, we're just gonna Kaya's Wrath here. Hey, Happy New Year, Striker Bow. Happy New Year. Thanks for that resub, our fifth sub of the day. Hey, Bert, I'm feeling okay. Feeling okay. Uh, thanks for asking. Um, could be better. I I hope I have like enough, enough energy tomorrow for the whole 12-hour stream and everything. Blue Jin, Happy New Year. All right, Storm. Thanks for stopping by. Happy New Year. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right, what else they got? Nebraska. As long as we win. So I can Murderous Rider that right now. Or, oh, I should have played the Hallowed Fountain. Another blue in there. Hmm.
This oven makes this annoying. Hmm. If I don't play Inner Cleansing, they get to draw three cards. Or, or, sorry, if I if I don't murder Strider, sorry, if I don't murder Strider, they get to draw three cards. This is just not a good use of planar cleansing for priced into it. Like, if I so if I let Corvold resolve and then Murderous Rider Corvold, then then they sacrifice Corvold and just draw a card there, and then they have Vraska that they could sack a land, and then they, they'd still have to sacrifice something else. But then they would have the food token they'd be able to sacrifice to the Corvold trigger. Sorry, my face is just so itchy. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good draw. Get Corvold out of here. They're shaving today. Face is all itchy. Must have shaved just a tad bit too deeply. Gross. That was a good draw. What? Why would they trade this? They just sit back and draw lots of cards with Midnight Reaper. Why are they like Midnight Reaper sacking and what? Well, that was wonderful for me. They didn't sacrifice Cauldron Familiar to draw extra cards. Oh, that was just, that was wonderful. Another cleansing. I wouldn't mind them drawing a trail of crumbs, because that's the thing, is like trail of crumbs is really difficult to deal with, and so like that's kind of like what our player and cleansings are for. But we're just kind of being forced to use them early. Even though trail of crumbs would mean they get to draw two other cards, so maybe I shouldn't want that. Am I dead? I'm at four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm surprised they just even let me take a turn whenever I was tapped out, but. All they had to do was sacrifice their food, gain three life, do one damage to me. But obviously now all they have to do is just one point of damage, which is very easy with a Cauldron Familiar deck.
We're barely alive, but we're still alive. Still alive for now. I feel like my opponent has another Corvold in hand. Oh, it was just a land. Never mind. <clears throat> yep, good draw. The third Witch's Oven. Good draw. Does Ego work in this matchup? I kind of want to know. I kind of want to just try it. Ego, you know, like Cauldron Familiar, so they're out of there for good. And Trail of Crumbs, that's out of here. I feel like it could. I feel like Trail of Crumbs and Cauldron Familiar without those two cards. The rest doesn't seem too difficult to deal with. I know we just died to the other cards, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I could have wolf. It's possible. Could have Dispark that could take out Wicked Wolf. I think the game's going to, like, if we're going to win, the game's going to go a lot longer. And I don't think we really want Thought Erasure. Try this. Liliana saying Liliana being sacrificed though could save us against Wicked Wolf. But we're not really playing Liliana for the minus, we're mostly playing it for the plus. Um, I don't love it. I don't love this. This is also kind of a problem with Gideon, as Gideon can never attack through Cauldron Familiar. But we got all the planar cleansings to help out with that. And it, it's good at distracting my opponent, so I'm not just taking infinite damage. Um, the band deck has a lot of Oketras. You can you can see the deck list on the, the deck list is up on the stream decker page right now but yeah it's got a lot of oketras Do not frighten me Take it. Well, that's good for me. That was nothing. Uh, 
So at least for now, the Cauldron Familiar is out of here. Can't attack with it. Unfortunately, they had another cauldron familiar, so they still get to block Gideon forever. And, of course, the planar cleansing's gone now. That was going to destroy the oven. It's also the other unfortunate. I'm not going to play Ryder here because we have Castle Ardenvale. If we didn't have Ardenvale, I'd be playing Ryder. Jeez. Catching any breaks. Pretty great trade. I can take a hit or two. I will lend you my strength. It's really looking like these cauldron familiars are gonna are gonna burn me out. Gideon has basically just done nothing but distract the opponent a little bit. So far. Um, if you're saying if, the, if you're saying that they should have always done the damage to me and not not any to Gideon, then this Gideon would, we would have been able to exile the witches oven a very long time ago. And obviously, if they don't have witches oven, um, it's a lot tougher for them.
All right, see you, Mr. Dang. Definitely gaining two life. Hey, numbers, happy new year. All right, so just two life. We're very close to stabilizing, but we're not quite there yet. But we're very close. Hey fish, happy new year. Yeah, I think I I think I'm gonna get rid of the Gideon and get rid of the oven, uh, and then also kill the goose. With the drown in the lock.
That does leave me pretty vulnerable. With having no, no other cards in hand where I'm just basically relying on the Murderous Riders. But I still have the chemistry's insight. And Castle Arden Vale. And I think I think I have to get rid of this goose. They they don't have any food generators. Now I have either Castle Ardenville or Chemister's Inside available right now. My sword is your end. Which we're probably gonna need to have Ardenville make a 1-1 one -one to block Druid. Okay. Got that one. <laughs> that was close. This is I've Got Friends by Manchester Orchestra. Uh, I'm doing great on the clock. Um, so my opponent's doing just fine too, but they're gonna have a lot less time. Yeah, they're at 15 minutes. I'm at 20. Thank you so much, Drug Wizard. Saying it was an honor to be part of this community for the last year. Learn so much from Todd in the chat. Look forward for another year of streams. Awesome. Thank you there, Wizard. Nope, there's no Teferi in this list. I need to get a card in their graveyard. So the So the drown in the lock is turned on. I guess I could have just played that, and then they're obviously going to sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar, and then whenever they do this to respond, then I kill the Goose. But the thing is, if they would have done that correctly and had, like, the two, they could have got rid of it. It wasn't guaranteed to work. got three what's up waffle <laughs> i 
All right, so they have a Liliana. Those Midnight Reapers are such a problem, too. Two Vraska. Two Corvold. Three Murderous Rider, a Liliana. Three Reaper. Duress is in there also. They don't really have bad draws. And they don't really have bad draws. Midnight Reaper is probably the card I want to see the least right now. We can get rid of the Gilded Goose. It's important. Well. Actually, we may not be able to with Drown in the Lock. I want to with Drown in the Lock. If I do that, they can activate Goose, make a food, and then have Cauldron Familiar sack the food, and then they have zero in their graveyard, and then the Drown in the Lock gets countered. Yeah, I could kill it for sure with Murderous Rider. Guess I just don't worry about that. Oh, I didn't update the sub goal with Waffle. Three seven. I kind of wish I would have shocked in, and they would have been able to drown in the lock of the Gilded Goose in response. Oh, they just let... Okay. They just did that? Okay. I thought they were going to sack the Goose. And draw a card, and then bring back Cauldron Familiar with that food and draw another card. I guess this way they just draw one card, and they keep their Goose in play. All right, we got a card in the graveyard, finally. All right, well, I can definitely take out the Goose now, but with us playing Planar Cleansing the next turn, most likely. The card I wanted to see the least. So doing that before combat because if they sack the cauldron familiar, which is what they should have done. And then they don't get to attack with it. If they sack the cauldron familiar, they get to draw an extra card. And I also take more damage. Take another two damage. Because of the murderous rider dealing me damage. But then I would be able to have the two three life linker later. Uh, 
Okay, so they still have three cards in hand. They'll have a Cauldron Familiar in the graveyard. But two ovens are gone. All their trailer crumbs are gone. One of their three Midnight Reapers are gone. <clears throat> so that's a lot of good stuff gone so far. Now they got plenty of cards in the graveyard. Hey, I'm trying. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Glad to. Glad you're enjoying the stream and the organization with it. Thank you. So they're at nine minutes now. I'm still at 17. If I upkeep Scry, I have two mana. gonna draw all right let's cry hmm so I, have four. I still have four I'm doing this right now so that I know if there's a card that I like, then I won't play the temple and I'll play the Hallowed Fountain. If, if I don't like either cards, then I'll play the temple. This still would give me, you know, be able to play this and have four mana next turn. I'm just so close to dying now again. Why do we need a cleansing Nova bat? I mean, I guess then they don't get a cauldron familiar back. Yeah, stream's going for about another four hours. Looks like with how long this deck's gone, we're probably going to have to chop off one of the decks today. It's not good tapping. That'll do. I don't think I'm upkeep scrying, am I? Yeah, I guess I am. What? Oh, I need... Undo, undo, undo! Oh no, I just messed that up. I didn't click on another blue source. Whoops. I had I had two white with that. I meant you know, obviously I meant to do blue. Whoops. 
Oh, come on. That was the one card I couldn't really afford. Well, I mean, Mayhem Devil I couldn't afford. There's a lot of cards I couldn't afford, I guess. I really couldn't afford that, though. We drew that one Kaya's Wraths, but it's been a lot of lands besides that. It's been an insight into Kaya's Wrath in, like, the last nine cards. Alright, add blue this time. Wish I could keep Kaya. Put him to the bottom. We just have because we, we have to draw planar cleansing. If I would not have, if I would not have Castle Scryed, we would have drawn Kaya, and then I would have incited and found Drown in the Lock. That. Maybe could have gotten me there. My drown the lock kills the midnight reaper. They sack in response. No, I don't. I don't have a chance. I mean, honestly, I think we we could have. I think that that may have we may have been able to stabilize if I just didn't mess up that tapping that last turn if I would have been able to insight my opponents like you know my opponent's turn when they played this witch's oven if I was casting insight and we would have drawn those cards then we would have drawn drawn drown the lock also I mean we would have been in that that spot if Kaya plus drown the lock would have gotten us there I'm not sure Okay, so we went three and two. Hey, fat GGs. Um, the planar cleansings were good, but I, I we need more ways to exile Cauldron Familiar though. Like that's like we don't we can't really exile like everything's destroy. And I don't think that that's like we have to be able to exile Calder Familiar too. We have the two Kayas, and that's it in the entire deck. Kaya would have been awesome to draw. We never, you know, we never had Kaya until it was way too late. But you have to be able to exile. Like besides planar, like planar cleansing is very good, and that destroying those non-land permanents that you need, like that's that's very good. But that's only part of the equation. You have to have exile. You know, um, Midnight Reaper also really designed really demands exile and we just don't have exile so like we need cry of the carnarium legion's end stuff like that also or more kayas the planar cleansings are awesome but we don't have enough we don't have enough exile no don't no this is not a spyglass deck at all like you don't want to play planar cleansing and spyglass together that's not something you want to do but we just need some exile Legion's End, Cry of the Carnarium, or more Kayas. We need those things. Um, Legion's End in particular, I think, would be really nice out of, out of those. Or, I mean, Cry of the Carnarium also. But, you know, we had we had so many, you know, we had a bunch of games where we just couldn't do anything early. So, you know, we just have to, like, wait, sit around and wait for, like, a Wrath or a Planar Cleansing, and then they just get to do so much chip damage with the Cauldron Familiars. Um, as far as the sideboard, I would I would take out on where to go. I would, I think that's where we could go. At least take out two of them. This is just not a combo format. There's just not really reasons to be playing all these on where he goes. The only like I don't know about like you know blue white control Jeskai fires. Do you really like maybe you need them there? I don't know. Um, four noxious grasp is is too many also. 
There are green decks, but you have to spark against the green decks also. And we may not need Mortify if we're playing like the other stuff. And we, we have four Planar Cleansings. We probably don't need Mortify. It wasn't that I ran out of gas. I couldn't I couldn't stabilize. It's like, what if you play like two legions and two cry of the Cranarium? Maybe even just one legions end and get a third Kaya, because Kaya getting rid of oven is really important. But again, Planar Cleansing is awesome, but it's not... You can't just play Planar Cleansing and just say, okay, well, now I have a good matchup against Jund Sacrifice. It's, it's not... That's not good enough. Yes, Witch's Oven does stop Legion's End, but they don't always have Leg They don't always have Witch's Oven and... Even when they do, you can still take out a goose with a legion's end, and goose goose is still really strong. Or or a paradise druid, you know, still you can still use those to take out one of those cards. Um, the castle Arden Vale was amazing. I would definitely play a second one. I would take out. I would just take out a basic planes and play a second castle Arden Vale. I think like you still have nine uh, planes to put it in play on tapped. I think think you're fine there. But Castle Art and Veil was one of our best cards. But there we go. I liked Discovery a lot. I like Chemistry's Inside a lot. I liked both of those cards. I think Gideon's kind of unnecessary. Our deck was kind of the best whenever we just grind, grinded out our opponent and just used Castle Art Veil to win. I, re I like to Drown the Lock for the most part. Obviously, early on, like when Drown the Lock's in your opener, that's not good. Uh, we saw that a couple of times. Like the last game, we had two Drown the Locks in the opener, and that was was really poor because uh, you just can't, you don't have cards in the opponent's graveyard. But once it gets to like turn seven, turn eight, Drown the Lock's like one of your best draws. It's It's awesome then. <clears throat> okay all right so there we go so that's esper control so those of y'all watching on youtube uh, hit that like button over there feel free to leave your comments hope you do both of those but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video